With the touch. Why not go for the finesse? With the finesse? <laughs> What's going on guys, Sulzy here and welcome back to our brand new video. So today we have the 87 overall Socrates, which is obviously worth 11 icon tokens. Now, looking off the base card stats, 80 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting, 87 passing, 82 physical. He's looking like a very, very decent card. Now, the, obviously the 80 pace could be not the greatest, but I don't mind my cams with not a lot of pacing because I kind of like them to just pass the ball and if they have the chance of obviously shooting, then shooting it. But I don't really want to, you know, I don't mind if they have pace. Obviously, it's a benefit, but it's not that big of a deal. Now, six foot four. As a cam, six foot four. I've never tried it, but I mean, you have to try it once at least, apparently. Medium low work rate, which is not a perfect work rate. Perfect work rate, work rates is high medium, but medium low. I mean, uh, it might be not the greatest because he ain't gonna come back on defense. Him being six foot four, it would be very nice for him to come back on defense, but it's not gonna happen. Five star weak foot is very nice because he can, he's gonna be able to shoot with his left and he's gonna be able to pass with his left. Now he's got four star skill moves. That skill move is going to be nice because he's going to be able to obviously do a scoop turn and a burber spin. The burber spin with him being 6 for 4, it's going to be very effective. He's going to put the body in the way and they're not going to be able to get past him. Now, I have, I'm using an engine on him. He is obviously on technical chemistry. 86 acceleration, 85 spin speed. Yeah, again, I mean, it's to be fair, it's decent. All right? I'm not going to disrespect the pace that much because I'm used to obviously playing with 90 pluses, but... Six foot four with that pace, a hey, it's pretty decent. A four finishing, eighty three attacking positioning, ninety shot power, eighty nine long shots. Now he doesn't have the outside outside foot trait, or he doesn't have the fin uh, finish shot trait. So them two uh, is a bit of a downgrade, but I do believe he should be able to finish inside the box all day. Now he has got ninety three short passing and ninety six long passing. Him having ninety two vision, a hey, this guy's gonna pass the ball like he's Kevin De Bruyne or something because. I'm expecting beautiful one-two plays, beautiful over the top, him not screwing up any passes. That's all I'm expecting. Now, he has got 83 agility, 66 balance, 87 reactions, 96 ball control, 99 dribbling, 95 composure. Now, the composure is going to be very, very, uh, very, very nice to me because I'm going to be obviously shielding off players left, right and center with him. Ball control should be good as well. He should be nice close quarter dribbling with him. 83 agility on a 6 foot 4 player. That's what I'm quite surprised about, to be fair. But there's always one downgrade to a dribbling of having a tall player, and it's the 66 balance. Now, this guy, sometimes if he gets shifted off the ball, he will be falling over, which means he'll lose the 50-50. That's something that I don't really like, I'm not going to lie. Now, he's got 83 heading accuracy with 64 jumping. Now, the jumping doesn't matter because he is 6 foot 4. So, he's going to be winning the headers anyway. 83 heading accuracy, I mean, to be fair, let, like, let's be honest, heading, uh, headers don't really go in this year, so I feel like that's uh, kind of irrelevant. Now, 85 stamina, with that pace, he's going to be lasting throughout the whole game. Now, that's what I'm expecting, especially with that medium-low work rate. He shouldn't be running too much. Now, 82 strength, 82 aggression. That right there, I mean, it could be better for a 6 for 4 player, I ain't going to lie, but I ain't going to disrespect too much, and I feel like he will probably be getting bodied off the ball. Because especially with the balance, it kind of makes it even weaker. But I will be using him, obviously, around any team I want, clearly, because he is an icon. But I have got Neymar, Lewandowski, Tedesco, Sissoko around him. I will be playing him in a 4-2-3-1, and him, obviously, at camp. Now, I suggest, you know, I think I'm going to probably use him at centre mid as well. Because I know a lot of people are going to be asking, can I use him at centre mid? Da -da -da -da. So, I'll be I'll obviously try him out there as well. But let's get straight into the games. Through the gap, Socrates passes it. Oh, you see that little Socrates little make a run there into that gap. Hey, if I got that to him, it's a GG. Now, Socrates. Oh, he's unmarked on the edge of the box. What am I seeing? Hit it to him. Beautiful. Oh, okay. All right, let's calm down. Let's calm down. Socrates on the sticks, eh? Okay, okay. He doesn't feel too bad. I feel like I see a bit of clunkiness, clunkiness in there, but it doesn't feel, like, amazing, I would say. Go on, hold him off. There you go. That's what I'm used to, man. A strong cam that can obviously hold off play. I can wait for the perfect moment. Just a lob it over just like that. 
Oh, that was an amazing ball as well. That defender did really well to get there. It has to be a big switch and it has to be perfect. And it's beautiful, I must say. Jesus Christ. I see that. That's a beautiful run. And that's an amazing ball. Perfect. Oh, I keep screwing that last pass up, which is starting to get annoying. Hey, that's a beautiful run he's made. I'm not going to lie. Just can't play. Get into the middle. Oh, come on now. We're getting very unlucky not to score now. Play that ball. Hey, I've noticed though, no matter what angle he's at, he still somehow manages to get it through. See, there's a good thing about having a tall cam is that he's got that kind of he's got that reach to get an interception there. See right there, I don't I don't really like that. The way Socrates was just chilling inside the box and not actually being the cam. Which is kinda of annoying. But he's made a beautiful run. It's not a great through ball, I must admit. Socrates. Beautiful turn. Oh my god. Right. I don't know what to say with that finish, I ain't gonna lie. That's bad. Socrates. Six of four. Win the header. That's beautiful to see. Nice. That's very nice dribbling. Run, Socrates. Run. Quick turns. Oh my god, that touch. <laughs> Beautiful pass. Flip flat around the corner. Oh, guy went in early. We have got it back though. Beautiful little start step. Oh, come on, man. He needs to be finishing that. I don't know how he hasn't hit that in the corner. Like, I did a little start step, then the ball roll. And look, he just hits it straight at the keeper. Like, what's happening there? But it's soccer because he's is six foot four, so we are going to hit near post to him. See what he can do. Actually, I'm going to chest it down. Oh, what? Switch to play, please. Thank you. The amount of curve that was on that ball. God damn. Socrates near post. Oh, I see the shot power. The shot power is there. But the finishing is not, man. It's a whole different story. We are going to try again, though. All right? We need to try at least twice. Socrates, show me what you're made of at near post. Show me what you're made of. What, what, what was that? Wide open and he hits it just... Oh. That's a beautiful run from Lewandowski. Can you pick him out? Yes, you can. I must admit, man, his passing is incredible. Like, he can do it every single angle possible. That is a beautiful help from him. With a nice pass, scoop turn around the corner. That is, should be a penalty. And there's only one person that can take this penalty. That's all I'm going to say. Now, Socrates, I've heard, his head movement is unpredictable while taking penalties because of his hair. Hey, uh, to be fair, though, to be fair, it's green, it's top bins. There's no chance of saving that. Come on now. Let's be A, but let's relax. We're going to see it again, see how top bins it was. Well, there's no chance of saving it. The guy had no idea of it. Socrates picking out the top bins. Oh, Socrates got a bit of himself. All right, that's nice. Ball roll just to get the angle of the full pelter. I, I can't, I can't, I can't, I can't. I don't know what to tell you guys, okay? Because he's not moving his keeper. That's a perfect angle that usually goes in. And it's just not going in. I don't know what's happening. Now, he's left the near post once again wide open. Can you do it this time? Oh, that's unlucky. This is going to be one hell of a ball if it works. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. If Lewandowski just got that little touch before. But what a ball but from Socrates, man. That just shows how good his passing actually is. With the touch. Why not go for the finesse? With the finesse? Oh! New angles that you don't know of. Hey, that's a that's an amazing finish. You can't even like you can't even go against that. We're not gonna see a replay because it looks like this guy is gonna leave. Oh, that could have been very, very deadly. He held off the defender like there was no tomorrow. And he was about to strike with that left foot. No, I mean, Socrates is really, really nice. They're just holding the ball and just, like, finding the gaps. And he's got such a beautiful pass to him. 
that most of the time he does get the ball off and apparently he's won that 50 50. it's gonna be a goal it has to be it's neymar but you have to just appreciate what socrates does in the midfield why is this guy leaving at one nil what am i looking at he holds up the play so well and he just, I don't know, he just has a beautiful pass to him. So, it's time to review him. And let me say straight off the bat, good old Socrates. Now, uh, I mean, I didn't really think a 6'4 cam would work. I'm not going to lie. I thought it was going to be very, very clunky. I thought it was going to be, like, very bad to turn with. He's not going to have the greatest. I mean, I, I was expecting a good pass. But the passing he was doing... I just, I can't complain about it. It's that simple. Now, 80 pace, 87 dribbling, 86 shooting, 87 passing, 82 physical. The only thing I saw on that card was pace-wise, it wasn't going to be the greatest. And it wasn't bad at all. Now, with the, obviously the engine upgrade, it gives him 86 acceleration, 85 sprint speed. I actually really, really enjoyed it. Like, he was fast. He wasn't rapid, obviously. But... The scoop turns around the corners and stuff like that just made it even like more a bit more faster and stuff. So that's nice to have. Five star weak foot. I saw that come into account. Finally, I could play with you the guy that has five star weak foot. Because what you can do with a five star weak foot compared to what you could do with like a three star, it changes like your whole game. Like the way he through balls with his left foot is literally the same animation that you get with his right foot. And that's what you need. That's what you want as with a cam. You need that five star weak foot, so you don't really feel, you don't really feel like one sided if you want to, if you know what I mean. Now his four star skills, his four star skills are nice. His scoop turns are really, really nice. His burber spins, as I said, six foot four. He's going to put the body in the way so the player doesn't get it after, which is very, very nice to have as well. Now shooting wise, shooting, a bit disappointing. Short power was there, I must say. Uh, but his finishing wasn't. He just didn't get it into the right corner, so I don't know why. Now, I would say his passing is enough, so I would say increase his shooting. But the way I saw him pass a ball, I don't think I even want to change it. I'm not going to lie. Now, his long shots, I forgot to mention long shots. Long shots were actually pretty decent. I obviously bagged one in for a quite a big distance, which was nice, I must admit. It was right into the top net. But can he do it consistently? I, no. They, I feel like it was a one-off thing. It was a, good ang it was a good angle and it had the shot power. And it went for top ends. But is it consistent? No. Now, passing-wise, amazing. One of the best passes I have in this game. And I have player reviewed 94 Kevin De Bruyne. And he was the best passer I've ever seen. Now, Socrates is so similar to that. It was crazy. Now, the difference between Socrates and De Bruyne was Socrates was a bit faster. And De Bruyne, uh, De Bruyne's passing, I can't really mention it. It was so good, it was ridiculous. Now, Socrates' pass was exactly the same. I didn't see any difference between the two. At all. So, Socrates has to go down as one of the best passes in this game as a cam. It's ridiculous. Now, agility-wise, uh, didn't feel bad. He didn't feel bad. He was very nice controlling of the ball. He had nice composure on him. He, I could uh, LT, you know, screen with players. It was very, very nice to have, I must admit. Now, agility-wise, not the greatest. Balance-wise, not the greatest. I could turn if I could tell if I was facing one way and I wanted to turn straight 180. He'll do an he'll do an animation, win away that he would turn but then start falling over a little bit and the turn will be like a big touch on the ball which obviously allows your opponent to get it now that i didn't like at all now heading actually i gave him two corners near posts and one of them was like lucky to to keep it to save it to be fair i'm not gonna lie but the other two went just like went, went right the keeper just didn't really challenge anyone so like i would prefer like i want the heading actually to be higher like, I don't want it to be that low. Now, stamina-wise, amazing. Lasted throughout the whole game. Made runs, which was surprising. Now, I feel like the medium-low makes runs because he doesn't come back on defense at all. So, I feel like it kind of forces him sometimes, uh, sometimes to make runs. Because if he sees a striker not making a run, he'll automatically do it. 
But I feel like that was the reason he was making runs. But yeah, stamina was perfect. Strength and aggression was bodying off players. Held off a lot of players that were stronger than him, I must admit. Aggression-wise was nice. He was fighting for the ball. Now, I would love this card to be the 6 for 4 height with good interceptions as a cam. Now, what that kind of puts into your game is that you can obviously intercept the ball high up, which means you can counter-attack. And you need that, trust me. But I have to give this card a rating out of 10. And I am going to give him... I'm going to give him a... 7 out of 10. Now, the reason I give him a 7 out of 10 is the reason... Like, he can do everything, I must admit. But he can't do everything perfect. The only thing he can do perfect, I would say, is passing. 8 out of 10, finishing needs to be higher. 100%. 9 out of 10, pace and agility and balance needs to be higher. 10 out of 10, we're looking at the strength and aggression. But other than that, this card is really, really good, I must admit. Hey, if you guys want to go pick it up, go pick it up. But for me, I feel like picking up Blanc over this card. That's all I'm going to say. But if you guys did enjoy this play review, leave a like, leave a comment. And for now, peace.